we have a mutual friend, her tour bus driver used to be my tour bus driver when I was on tour with Kat. And we were remained friends for many, many years since the tour. And one night he called me on FaceTime and he said, hey, we looking at you on the tour bus. And I said, we who? And he said, my client. And I said, well, who's your client? And boom, Rihanna popped on FaceTime. I almost had a nervous breakdown. And I'm a, I almost threw my thumb out so I could try to uh, do a screenshot real quick, you know? <laughs> and uh, we were talking, and I just told her that my daughter was a fan of her makeup. And I told her, I said, I like your little lingerie, too. I said, I wish you made it in bigger sizes for, for us big, big girls. And Rihanna said, but I do. And I'm like, um, well, shoot, I want to be a model. And she was like, yeah, let's make it happen. And then we kikied and got off the phone. I was like, oh, that was fun. You know, I didn't think no more right. about it. But then about two days later, Rihanna herself hit me in my DMs and asked me for my email. And I, I was like shocked again. I sent her my email. And that next day, contracts started coming. You got to post twice a month. You got to get this much amount of money. And we want to look at the pictures. Da -da -da -da. We're going to send you lingerie every month. Da -da -da. I was like, wow. So it's ironic you should ask because where I am right now, is on the set of the photos that I shot for March. So okay. um, we're, those are going to be coming out probably within the next week or so. So anyway, they can keep up with me with all the details of, of everything I do in my life pretty much uh, on Hey Lunell YouTube show, H-E-Y-L-U-E-N-E-L-L. -L -L. And they can follow me on Instagram at Lunell, L-U-E-N-E-L-L -L as well. Even though it's on the screen, you'd be surprised at the motherfuckers that still fuck it up when they write my name and talk mm. to me. Well, folks can't spell, man. You know that. <laughs> let's talk, let's get into some topics, man. Some trending topics, if you don't mind. We seen Stacey Dash come out. I thought that was interesting. After everything yeah. has transpired, said that she was the angry black woman on Fox, and she knew that, and um, she just feels bad about some things she said. She wants to look at things different. What's your thoughts on Stacey Dash? Stacey Dash can eat a dick. Mm. Yeah, that's my opinion. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But what's your thoughts on? I'm interested to hear your perspective on what you see going on with Ti and his wife Tiny right now. Um, it's a lot of people that, and I always, I always ask the question like, where are their friends at? How come, how come nobody's speaking up for them? Uh, what's your thoughts on what's going on with them sitting in your position? Well, um, just to clarify about the Stacey Dash comment. I think it's too much, too little, too late. Don't try to come running back home when your fearless leader then got kicked out the White House, started an in insurgent, and got kicked off Twitter, and got kicked off everything. You don't have nobody to have your back no more. Now you're out there swimming all alone. You want to come back home to the Black community. Sorry, you're not invited to the cookout, Stacey Dash. Sorry. So now, moving on to um, what you just asked me. Um, um, wait a minute. What was that? What you just asked? <laughs> Tia and Tiny. That situation. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, well, um, you know, I uh know them personally on a, a very superficial uh level. You know, I've done expeditiously his podcast, and I've been around them. You know, at uh, various award shows, and we've kicked it and stuff like that. Now, uh, you know, the word on the curb for a long time has been that they like to freak. Okay, so that's. All good. I grew up in that whole era, you know, of, of all that freaking and stuff. But um, the, the the problem comes when they say about people being forced. They were forced to take drugs. They were forced to, you know, have sex with each other. And um, I know that if you get up in a big old mansion or something like that, and you don't know where you are, and you don't know which way to run and leave or whatever like that, you can feel discombobulated, confused. I personally um, have to wait and see how the chips fall. I do not want to think that they did anything with anybody that they didn't have any awareness of going in. You know what I'm saying? I like to think that everybody was grown and maybe this is sour grapes and people are getting together trying to get a bag because I don't think that T.I. nor Tiny have to force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. There's enough freaks in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, that want to uh, that want to freak. So 
I, I don't I don't know. We'll have to see how the um how the evidence falls, you know. But it wouldn't be the first time that people lied and put somebody in, in jail. I just hope with all the kids they got that, that nothing like that happens to them, you know. Maybe they should be a little bit more selective about the bitches they bring home, maybe. Right. And we we think about the silence of the people that, you know, was all beside T.I. when he was up, you know, the celebrities, the activists, the people. Now, nobody, everybody's kind of sitting back, just kind of waiting as if they don't believe that it went down. Yeah, I think that's fucked up because I'm a writer. Like, if you've been good to me, if I've been working for you, if you if I haven't seen any kind of um, evidence of what you're being accused of, I will speak up. I would have your back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think that everybody pretty much knows that they freak a lot. And if they're not in the room there, maybe they don't know what to say. You know, maybe don't they don't know, maybe they just don't know what to say. But um this also just goes to, you know, back to shit that um uh, Nipsey talk about keeping your circle tight and that everybody can't go because you know, it's all in the people that you have around you. Like I have family that would sniff out somebody who was around me that was up to no good. I have family that has my back. I have a discernment for people that I I can see, um, you know, I can see good people and 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 users. And I don't. I'm proud to say that I, my circle is very tight, and I I've gotten rid of most of any kind of opportunist or anything that would um, uh, bring me harm. And I don't think that I have anybody around me right now that will allow anybody to bring me harm. So, you know, I'm sure that they think that the people that were around them had their back. But unfortunately, it's not looking that way right now, you know. I, I'm riding with Tia and Tanya. I hope that none of this uh, is true. And I hope that they uh, can, you know, if they want to continue freaking, that they can continue to do that. But um, uh, I, I do not want to think, but I didn't want to think about Bill Cosby either. And I wouldn't have thought about Bill Cosby until he admitted this shit in his own deposition. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of that going on. We've seen it since Mr. Cosby. We've seen this a rash of different incidences. And a lot of people can say, OK, they're targeting a lot of the, the prominent black entertainers, actors, rappers, whatever the case may be. Or some of the cases may be true. I seen you said what you said about um Dr. Dre. You weren't the only one to say it about Dr. Dre. We also see Raz being Chris Stokes. There's so many different things going on in the industry when it comes to abuse, where in what in whatever case may be, some real, some not. We talked a little mo. She said some's cap, some's real. In your estimation, how what's the percentage of it real and and not real? Like in the case of Chris Stokes and and Raz B, what do you think about that? I think Raz B is absolutely telling the truth. Mm. You know, I've been um, abused and um, uh, violated. And I think when your story is so consistent for so long and the details are always the same and they never vary and your story doesn't change and you stand by what you said for years and years and years, you know, I tend to believe him. I mean, you don't hear Jesse Smollett still kicking up a fight about his situation, do you? His brother is sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so with the coming to America, um, I know it's kind of early, but have there been any new opportunities that are on the horizon for you since then? Yes, and that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. okay, 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 I got you. Nice. Now, we see uh, this Meghan Mark.